is Nadia and you are watching a cozy knitting corner. This is my YouTube channel where I share yarn and knitting with you. This is episode 8. Let's get started. Today I have two finished objects I'm going to share with you. But first I will talk about what I'm wearing. My potterware. I am wearing my Magnolia Chunky Cardigan. It's a design by Camilla Vell, a Danish knitwear designer. I knit this cardigan in Sandnes yarn called Kos, uh, bought pre-owned. Yeah, what is there to say? I didn't get gauge, so I knit a size medium instead of a size large. And you have also in a previous episode, if you're a returning viewer, uh, watched me crochet these buttons and sew them on. And I have only still two buttons on. Haven't, haven't crocheted uh, another button, or maybe I have, but I haven't sewn it on. So, but today I'm wearing it, and I have two finished buttons on, but it's okay. Yeah, the finished objects I'm gonna show you. I also showed you last time, but now I have two pairs finished. So let's show them to you again. It's my match sock in the Danish knit along 12 par per an, which means 12 pairs in a year. It's not the best sock blogger. It's not a man size. This is a European size 45, approximately. And this yarn uh, is bought from a, from a Danish web shop or Danish real shop, which also is a web shop called Kirsten Brun. She sells a lot of stuff and some of the things uh, she's selling is pre-owned yarn. So I bought this as, uh, as a share a pair set with 40 grams of the neon yellow and 40 grams of the speckled gray yarn. And then I uh, had a gray aveta in my stash I used for heels, cuffs and toes. Uh, I am knitting this uh, with two rounds of every color and a shadow wrap heel. It's, uh, I'm not uh, doing anything special here to um, cover up my joints. I don't mind. On the first sock, I'm not sure if this is the first or the second one, but on my first sock, yeah, this must be the second one. On the first sock, um, this side with the joints was a lot more banana shaped and crunched up. So I concentrated on this second sock to make it more loosely in the joints. And uh, yeah, it su I succeeded um, with that. I don't think... I don't think it's gonna matter that much. Oops. I have an end not woven in. Whoopsie. I'm not sure it's gonna, yeah, matter that much when I'm blocking it. This banana shape here. It's a sock. And I really think he don't, he, the recipient don't mind. So my match socks is finished. And that's good because it's April now. The knit along, it's about knitting from yarn stash. And I can't remember if I told you last time or I have forgotten again if I did. But this yarn I had in my stash for maybe a year. I don't know, quite some time. And now they are finished. And now he can wear them because I have shown them in the podcast. Do you know, do you also do that? <laughs> For you other podcasters, do you also save your finished objects until you have shown it and then you can wear them? I do. <laughs> yeah. Let's put this back up here. Um, then I have finished yet another classic ripped hat by Pearl Soho. Last time I could not show you it live in real real project but this time I can and I have not followed the pattern uh, completely I have decreased a little 
uh, what is that called in English? Yeah, more heavily. Yeah, I made it, uh, the decreases happened faster because I was afraid of running out of yarn. And my husband told me that his classic ripped hat uh, could have been knitted shorter. So because of my worries about running out of yarn and the note also that it could have been shorter, this ended up actually an inch shorter, approximately 2.5 centimeters. I haven't weighed this one, but my husband kept this second one and he gave away the first one uh, today actually. And his friends uh, said, thank you very much, but it is a little big, but he was happy anyway. I have knitted this in opal sock yarn in a brown color. Can't remember the color name I showed you last time, I think. Um, and I knitted in uh, with 3.25 millimeter needles, um, as suggested in the pattern, and the size adult medium. I also mentioned last time that the pattern you can download for free as a PDF is not the same pattern as written on the homepage if you read the pattern directly from the homepage. So actually this one also, this is knitted as, uh, as, as the pattern on the PDF and it, it should be 18 and something inches before starting decreases. So, and in the, on the web page, I think it was, no, not 18 inches, eight inches and something. And on the web page, I think it's nine. But you can go check for yourself. So be aware that the pattern on the home page is not the same as the pattern you receive if you download the PDF. And it is a free pattern by Pearl Soho. So yeah, two finished objects, a classic ripped hat and a pair of socks. And now I won't knit any more of the classic ripped hat for a while, I think, um, because if I shall knit myself a hat, a hat I, I think I would knit the muscle bar hat by Isolde Knits, Isolde Teague. Is, what is her knit brand? I don't know. But the muscle bar hat uh, in some sock yarn. I have so many skeins of sock yarn, or at least I have a lot of sock yarn. And yeah, why not knit a muscle bar hat? It's, I haven't read the pattern, I know I have bought it, but uh, I think people is telling you, me or you, <laughs> but people are telling uh, on the internet uh, if they have knitted it, that you can measure the gauge as you go. And then uh, from that number, you create your own pattern from the pattern design or something like that. So yeah. Okay, it's a little small needle fingering way, but muscle burr in beautiful hand dyed sock yarn. I think it could be fun. Yeah, so what do I have on my needles? You might ask then. Remember last time I showed you that I was just getting started on my next uh, selfish knitting project. And that was the first cardigan by Lizzie Hester. On Instagram, her name is Hive Knits. Oops. I have knitted, not like crazy, but I have knitted quite a lot. And now I need to show you the best way because this is an 80 centimeter needle. So there's no great way to show you, but let me hold it up, crunched up here. And then we can talk afterwards. This is my progress so far. It's upside down actually, but yeah, in the back piece here is knitted in stockinette stitch. And then you have these sleeves knitted in half fisherman's rib. And then on the front, whoops, 
you are increasing for a v-neck shaped yeah v-shaped ne neckline uh, i am not yet there to separate for sleeves but i'm very close uh, i think i think i am five rows to the at least the next step in the pattern I haven't checked if that's separating for sleeves, but I hope so. My goal for Easter was to knit on this and separate for sleeves in Easter. I did not make that goal, but the knitting police isn't coming because the knitting police is my, me, myself. Yeah, here's the yarn that I'm knitting it in. It's knitted in Filcolana yarn, the Tilia and the Aveta. Aveta is a sock yarn, and Tilia is a silk mohair yarn. It's the color light truffle. Um, also, on this project, I uh, didn't get gauge. I think the gauge, the right gauge, is 24 stitches per 10 centimeters, and I got 21 stitches, I think. So I sized down. I was supposed to knit an, a size 6 and I am knitting a size 5. When I separate for sleeves, I will try it on, of course, and try if everything fits or I should do more or less in, or, or, uh, increases. I hope it fits because I don't know how to knit back in half fisherman's ribs, so yeah, let's hope it's fitting me. <laughs> I haven't checked the gauge uh, actually either because yeah, it's a cardigan. It's okay, but this one actually came out a little big, so maybe I could have knitted this uh, even in an even smaller size. But yeah, again, I like it. It's nice, not too warm. Yeah, cardigans is my selfish knitting right now. Um, I haven't planned my next project yet. But I have an old whip I might bring up, but again, it's April now, so this may be finished during this month. Maybe I finish it here in April, and then in May the weather could be warm. Too warm to my old ego or selfish knitting project. It's a uh, sweater called Eurefi. Um, knit in Lit Lopi from Eastex and that's very warm woolly wool scratchy woolly wool so maybe it's uh, not a wise choice for my next project yeah I don't know you will see when this one is finished yes then I also have a Sophie scarf on my needles let me just pause for a second here some of you may have watched it and some of you may not um, but i uploaded an easter vlog uh, yeah this easter and then you have seen me knit on this project um, my girl girlfriend no my daughter's girlfriend or friend always when she's visiting my daughter takes on Go, go to her room and they do what they do. They are teenagers. They are just giggling and cozying up and lying in, on, on each other in a big bundle and yeah, watching movie and stuff like that. And then she always, when she's leaving the room, has this one on. This is my daughter, Sophie Scarf, knitted my way. I did not follow any Ella, the instructions from Petit Knit. Uh, it, this is much more. Yeah, there's lo it's, there's a longer fre frequency. What is it called? There's a longer there's longer between the decrease like increases and decreases on this one than the original Sophie scarf. Um, and I made this one for her, or not made, but I'm about to make this one for my daughter's friend because I have the yarn and because she likes it. 
obviously because she's always trying it on. I have made this one a little wider, not so long um, between the in and D and increases. And I reached the half point here. So now I'm on my way back. I thought I might have finished this in Easter time, but I didn't. Yeah, it's a quick little project. So I will finish it very soon. The yarn I'm knitting it in is the same as the yarn I, I knitted the one for my daughter in. It's uh, cashmere, pure cashmere yarn from the app Sheen. And then there's this thread of nylon to go with it. So I knit these two threads together to make a stronger scarf. It's very soft and I uh, trust the label that it's 98% cashmere and the 2% is something else. Nylon, I guess. Yeah, I have it in this little project bag from Knitwear by Maki. She has a shop on Instagram called Knitwear by Maki. And uh, I just learned on Traveling Miss Knits Knitathon that she is shipping internationally. And you are buying directly from Instagram. You're messaging, messaging her in, on Instagram to buy her project bags. I love her project bags. And I'm saying that only have this one. But I love this project bag. And I love the look of everything she's making. So maybe I should splurge myself with a bigger size of her project bags next time. You never know. I wasn't so lucky that I won the big set at Traveling Miss Knits Knitathon um, drawings, but it doesn't matter. I this one this uh, Spring Knitathon I did not follow as closely as I have done the other years because this weekend we have done uh, a lot of other stuffs than knitting. I'll get back to that later on. I'm not usually talking uh, about my private life in here, not that much at least. I actually can't remember if I shared anything at all regarding my private life. But this weekend we have done something that I would like to share with you. Yeah, so this is one of my projects on my needles and it will be soon finished. So you will see it finished next time, hopefully. And this is absolutely not my last uh, Sophie scarf. I just love garter stitch and I love knitting Sophie scarves and I would like one in every color. So you will see more of that little scarf here on this channel. Yes, and then my last whip is in this little basket here. This is my April sock. This is uh, some uh, yarn from my stash that has been lying there for ages, I guess. Originally, this may have been, uh, this have been a 200 gram uh, ball of yarn. Uh, I am knitting the sock for my colleague's son the same boy who received one of the rainbow pear socks and these colors because i'm choosing the colors for him he's not saying i would like a blue sock or green sock he's just saying i really would like knitted socks and i asked her if her son would like uh, yeah what did i call it illebrandsfarver I said that's a Danish word for fire. I think it's uh, fire colors. <laughs> Maybe even the German flag colors, yeah. But yeah, the colors of a fire. You can see it knitted up. Here yeah, is a very, very variegated yarn. Very much variegated. And 
I don't know. Did I show you the sock last time, the rainbow sock on my colleague's boy's feet? The, yeah. What is this called? The leg. The leg was hanging on his tiny little legs. So this one I knitted as a ripped sock, two by two ribbing. And I reached the heel today. It's a shadow wrap heel. And now I will f continue in ribbing on top of the foot and in stockinette stitch at the bottom. And here you can see it knitted up in stockinette stitch. Very, very, very gated fire colored yarn. Oh, German flag colored yarn. I don't know. It's not, orange is not my favorite color. So it's good that someone else can, yeah, have some socks in this yarn because 200 grams is quite a lot of yarn. I had some trouble in the beginning. Maybe I can show you the inside just to show you that the yarn, it was either it has been eaten by little stupid insects or it's just old and yeah, I don't know, but can you see all the ends? All the ends inside. It just, yeah, you can actually see it here. I hope you can see it. It's, it's just breaking. The yarn was, yeah, bad, bad condition. It was breaking all the time. So I had to, I have a little of weaving in to do here and then, but now it seems like it's, it's just happened again, but it's a long time since it happened last time. So I hope that uh, it was just the, the first many layers of yarn who has been attacked by moth or other insects. And we're good to go now without all the breaking of the yarn. Cross our fingers. But yeah, almost, not almost finished, but halfway at least on the first suck. And it is today, April the 7th. It's a Sunday. Recording, it's 20, 30, yeah, it's 8 p.m., 8.30 p.m. in the in the evening uh, our, in Danish our time is 2018 hmm. but yeah it's evening Sunday the 7th of April yeah that's my uh, last whip on my needles but no it isn't it's not my last whip on the on the needles if you count the one that I am knitting on from the old whips and I showed you last time that I was knitting on my mosaic scarf on the old whips and I'm still, I still am. Uh, I think I also showed you last time or tell, told you last time that I was almost at the 18 centimeters it needed to be. I'm not sure that was quite right, but yeah, now I am almost because now I am at 15 centimeters which is approximately six inches and i need to go to 18 centimeters which is approximately seven inches yeah but in this easter i have knitted a few rounds or a few rows again it's taking a little it's taking a while getting through a row it's almost 500 stitches here oh i'm showing you the wrong side just that's just great Nadja let me show you I have a lot of yarn and see yes, I'm knitting it with in three strands one strand of a time it's mosaic but yeah I have three, uh, three strands of yarn attached to the project but yeah this is the right side it's a little more beautiful mosaic knitting you knit one stitch and you slip one stitch. You knit one stitch and you slip one stitch. And you do that all the way across and back again. I, let me quickly show you the yarn again. For those of you who have been watching my podcast earlier, you have seen this before. 
but oh it's so yeah it's going apart uh, the two solid colors is easy care from mayflower and the variegated hand dyed yarn is anina from filcolana i can't remember the color codes here but maybe i have maybe i have them on another episode or yeah maybe not ask me if you really would like to know but mayflower easy care and filcolana anina uh yeah this is my old whip and this is the old whip i have chosen to be the next old finished whip so it will get a row once in a while until i i reach the last until i have knitted the last inch the, the last two and a half centimeters yeah that was it for, for on my needles and finished objects um, and old whip now there's only acquisitions left there's a little because i in the easter vlog also showed you and there you have seen the yarn also but not all of you have seen that vlog so let me show you i bought these three skeins of wool yarn um, the two of them is the same in different colors. It's Hürdegarn and it's uh, all free actually, but these both are from the Jellholt Ullspinneri. And this uh, Hürdegarn is 43% Falkland Merino, 43% Gotland Pelz Wool and 14% Mohair. It's going 125 meter meters per 100 gram yeah in a gray and a dark blue color so these two are going 100 125 meters per 100 gram i have no idea what it's gonna be i just uh, wanted to feel the Jan from Jellholt Ullspinneri because I have heard a lot of Danish podcasters talk about it and also knitted, knitted stuff in it and it uh, actually this one is suggested in some of the patterns uh, I have seen also this one is not at all my favorite color but it was again to try the yarn this is called Handwerksgarn and this goes 200 meters per 100 grams. It is also, what is it? Yeah, this is not mohair, it's just a wool blend of Falkland Merino and Gotland Pils Wolf. Yeah, it's a burgundy, red wine, red color. You can see the halo is really, and actually it's not that it is itchy. Yeah, but I could wear it. It's not, it's not as woolly, woolly, scratchy as I may have thought it would be. So yeah, these three beautiful skeins of wool is now mine. So if you have any suggestions what these 200 grams can be, please write it in the comment. And also this one, maybe a hat, maybe a cowl or yeah, anything, write it to me. I would uh, love to knit with it, but I just have to think of the right project. I bought these uh, pre-owned also on a thrift market I went to in Easter. So if you have seen the vlog, you have seen uh, some of the other vendors booth the thrift market um, another booth I bought five skeins of this Sevig yarn Dolce Glitter from Sevig I don't know if you can see the glitter but there is some it's not much but there is some it's a beige color I can see the glitter here in the light it's a beige color and this is 60% kit mohair, 
35% acrylic and 5% polyester metal. It's the glitter. It's a 50 gram ball and it goes 150 meters. I have five of these. <sighs> the woman in the booth was knitting in one thread of this and she was knitting a sweater. It was very light and very beautiful. I'm not sure that five balls going 150 meters is giving me a sweater, but yeah, maybe a part of a sweater or maybe a shawl project. Uh, yeah, again, do you have any good suggestions for five balls of this glitter round yarn Dolce glitter from Civic? Please write in the comments. Actually, it's more scratchy, I think, than the woolly yarn. Oh, no. But it's not soft as silk mohair. There's no silk in it. But again, it's not scratchy as I could not wear it. But yeah, I think actually that was all that I had to share with you this time. Next time, I'm hopefully... Yeah, not finished with the body on my first cardigan, or the first cardigan, but I have separated for sleeves and I have knitted some of the body, I guess. I would like to finish it because now, now I'm on the roll. Now it's like, yeah, I'm going on this selfish knitting. I enjoy it. I actually want the project finished and I think the sleeve in Half Fisherman's Rib is so squishy and I'm just looking forward to wear it before it gets too hot here in Denmark. Not that we have hot, hot summers here, but 25 degrees is not uncommon. Uh, 32, 35 degrees is very unco uncommon, uncommon here. But yes, in the 20s is a, a Danish summer. 25, it's Danish summer. So May could be warm, May could be unstable, but usually we get a little taste of summer in May. And May is only two, one and a half month, month away. It's actually one month away. So yeah. I would like to have it finished and I would like to plan for my ne next ego project. Um, actually, I just keep on getting new inspiration, but I applied and applied is I wrote a comment, but November knits applied for test knitters and I wrote a comment that I would like to test knit. And then uh, before I did that, I actually checked out her account and her patterns and she has some beautiful designs, but one of them, and now I don't remember the name, but I would put a picture in here and write the name on the screen. It was a, it's a, it's a raglan uh, striped sweater, but it looked like it had the shape, you know, where the ribbing, uh, the hem was scrunching in. And I don't like that loose fit around the hips. It, it needs to be tight fitting like a sweatshirt. I have talked about this earlier so that could be a, a possible sweater but we are going into summer spring summer so i already have the pattern from actually traveling miss knits pia i have the pattern for scrappy stripes and i have a, a lot of uh, sock yarn i could use for that pattern many uh, Many is happy about the scrappy stripes they have knitted. Um, and maybe I would be that too. Maybe it's a good pattern for me. I don't know if I don't knit it, so maybe I should knit that one. It's a short sleeve uh, pattern. It's more appropriate maybe for the weather coming up. Uh, yeah, I'm actually not sure, but I also think I have a perfect little cardigan pattern. That would also be nice to be knitting soon but actually i would like to knit that in the suggested yarn from a knitter's world and i know it's a little pricey so maybe i should write the yarn on my wish list i have a birthday in august and i got the yarn for this cardigan uh, as a present 
for Christmas. So maybe I am lucky. It's from it was from my mom and dad. So maybe I am lucky that they will buy me yarn and give me as a present for my birthday for the perfect little car again. Who knows? Yeah. So well, back to what did I do then this weekend if I did not follow the knitter thong thorn for 24 hours and knit it away. So uh, we have planned we have planned out that this Saturday yesterday we were going out and have a look at one of the car dealers here in the city uh, because we need a new car. It's a necessity and not a, uh, uh, yeah, let me start over. My old car, our car, our current car is five years old. And actually we had planned it. We bought that as a brand new car five years ago. And our bank loan lasted for eight years. And we planned to driving that car for eight years. So we drove it in five years now and it's broken it will not go further without a new motor and sh long story short we lost confidence in the car we are not yeah we don't trust it anymore so even if we ended up getting a new motor paid by opel it's an opel opel a car Crossland X actually, even if they end up buying us, like giving us a new motor, we will not keep the car. So we went uh, to Kia and tried out and have a test drive in their Kia Sportage uh, plug-in hybrid. Uh, the one we saw was is a pre-owned car. It's uh, from August 2022 and we needed to, we wanted to test drive that one and he was preparing it and then he came back and said, oh, I'm so sorry, but there's no um, electricity on the battery left and that will not give you the complete uh, drive experience. So, but we have another one. So we actually yesterday went uh, test driving another Kia Sportage a little newer um, and an upgraded model but the driving is the same so and we were just like whoa it's a nice car and it's our budget pre-owned we can afford that car it's a little bigger than the suv we have it, the suv we have now is a little suv and kia sportage is a little bigger uh, suv car so yeah, today we went back. We made a deal with the car dealer yesterday to come back today. Uh, and then they today uh, will give a price for our old car, the Crossland X, uh, while we were driving. So he took some pictures and he got the information about uh, what's wrong with the motor. It's using a lot of oil. Uh, it was measured on 1,000 kilometers to use two liters of oil. That's a lot. It's very much too much also. Um, yeah, so that's what's wrong with that car. <laughs> we went for a test drive in the uh, the Kia Sportage that we saw yesterday, but couldn't drive. That was also a nice drive. It's a nice car and yeah, we were just sold <laughs> and when we came back he was just happy the, the car dealer and he said oh my god i received a very good price for your old car uh, he did not expect that good price and we were just like what what so and it was a very good price so we had actually we we uh, signed the what is that called it's a slutzel pudensk maybe it's an end it's a contract we signed that today, so now we just need the finances to, yeah, happen, and we are in uh, in contact with our bank to get the right loan for the car, and if everything goes like planned and hoped for, we have a new car in the end of this month, and then we will get rid of that old broken car, and never again I will drive an Opel.
at all. Not something that I can recommend Opel Crossland X. Yeah, it's ending up using a lot of oil. So, I will put a picture in here, maybe a little video of the car that we have taken a test drive in today and yeah, hopefully we'll end up owning in the end of this month. I will not take up any more of your time. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you will like this video if you enjoyed it and uh, please share it on Instagram. Oh, I never tell you what I'm, I'm, my name is on Instagram. I always uh, write it on the screen. It's a knitting podcast by, um, but my name is Nadia Vin. I'll write it on the screen again now. Please share if you are watching and tag me on Instagram, then I will reshare it on my own history. Well, on my own story, it's called. I will reshare it on my own story. Yeah, I think it's so nice to see uh, that you're watching and also you are more than welcome to leave a comment and tell me where you are watching from That's always already also always uh, nice to read comments and uh, You write which country you are you are watching from I enjoy that So yeah, that's all for me until next time Happy knitting. Bye